Well, hello everyone. Casino Duck here, your wannabe weekend woodworker. Thank you for tuning in to part four of our hope chest build for my sister-in-law's marriage. She's getting married here in a couple days. So we're making her a hope chest. And this is, uh, well, what we're doing right here is we're making the rabbits on the, uh, the front and the back panel of our drawers there. Sizing it up, uh, uh, making sure that they're going to fit properly, making sure I got the right height on it. Looks like I went just a tad short on that one, so I'll probably raise up the, or lower actually, uh, lower the, uh, the router on there. All I have on there is just a half inch uh, flat uh, bit, and I pretty much sized it to uh, half of the, uh, the, uh, the board so we can get a better fit to it. So let's get that done. Okay, it's time to cut our drawer bottoms. Uh, don't ask me what I'm thinking right there. I couldn't remember. I couldn't tell you. Who knows? Okay, yay, here comes the fun part. Let's put these puppies together. So I have my locking miter bit uh, installed on my router. I actually purchased this uh, router bit here with a gift card given to me for Christmas by Casey and Marla. So how fitting it would be to go ahead and make her uh, drawer guides with it. Um, I was looking at how this bit actually cut and I got to thinking I would wanted to try it and see if it would make a good uh, drawer glide. Drawer glide. And I'm glad I did. It, it, it actually worked out pretty well. Now I didn't have to change the height of that bit at all. Only thing that changed here is this is a half uh, inch piece of uh, maple that I just had in the scrap pile. And this is what, I, what I'm gonna attach to the actual bottom of the drawer itself. You know, I, I never installed that type of glide before. Um, so when I was dry fitting it, fitting it I, I, I quickly realized that this little centerpiece has to be removed from the drawer so, uh, so it actually will fit on there. Um, here's my attempt uh, on the first one trying to uh, remove it with the chisel. After I did this I quickly uh, went to the sander, you know, and the sander was uh, definitely, definitely a lot more efficient. Installing these drawers, we will. Here we go.
And off to the uh, barrel sander we go. These two are the actual drawer fronts. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much getting them even and square. Uh, I know it's hard to see, but right in the middle on these is the actual Latin letter L uh, carved into each uh, right in the middle where the uh, knobs are going to go. When I was making these drawers, there was just a little overhang left on the edges, and that's what we're going to do right now. We're just going to take those off. I just had my straight trim bit uh, installed on the router. Well, okie dokie now, let's go ahead and let's uh, finish up the drawers. Well, because of these drawer fronts being such a tight fit, I did not glue these down. I, I just screwed them to, and that way, for whatever reason in the future, they don't want to fit or whatever happens to them, you know, I can take them off and I can run them down the, the joiner or whatever or, or, or whatever is needed. That, that way we can repair them a lot easier than if I just glued these things, you know, too. There's such a tight fit on those drawers, it's really hard for me to reach in there and grab it and open up the drawer. So I'm going to go ahead and install some temporary pulls. These aren't the ones I'm going to end up using, but at least I'll be able to open those drawers up a lot easier. There's nothing like a little bit of paste wax to fix the stickiness in those glides. And we have come to end of part four. Thanks everybody for watching. I really do appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in part five. Thanks everyone and good night.